Although viruses are typically too small to see, if infection causes visible damage to cells, the presence of infectious virus can be detected using a plaque assay. We're going to be looking at a plaque assay here carried out using influenza A virus. To begin with, you need to have indicator cells which are permissive to infection. Here we're using trypsin to remove cells from flasks and we're seeding them in six well dishes. By the next day, a confluent lawn of cells, a monolayer, will have grown. We then take a sample containing virus and carry out a tenfold serial dilution. By doing this six times, we'll span a range of dilutions from one in ten right down to one in a million. The indicator cells are then washed and infected with the different dilutions of virus. Whilst the infection is taking place, we weigh out some agarose, mix it with phosphate buffered saline and heat it to dissolve it. This is done to increase the viscosity of the overlay suspension. Normally, newly released virions will diffuse through the media and infect all of the cells in the dish. But by increasing the viscosity by mixing media with um, agarose, we can ensure that each infected cell only infects its immediate neighbours. Once the cells in the gel are returned to the incubator, the infection proceeds. Influenza grows relatively quickly um, and areas of infection will start to spread over a course of two to three days. During this time, each cell infects its neighbours and they infect their neighbours, and you can see here a growing zone of cytopathic effect. This is, however, quite hard to see with the naked eye. To make it more visible, the overlay is peeled off and the cells are fixed and stained. Here we're using Kumasi Brilliant Blue dissolved in ethanol and acetic acid. Once this is washed off, uninfected cells are stained strongly blue in a confluent layer. However, any initial site of infection will have left a visible plaque, an area um, where no cells remain on the dish, um, which appears white against that blue background. In an infected plate, we'll see now a range of different densities of plaques across the serial dilution. And by taking a well with countable plaques, the number of plaque forming units, or PFU, um, in the original stock can be back calculated and expressed as a concentration of PFU per mil.